my statement, uh, Jeff gave me an opening because he mentioned calcium scoring. And I like calcium scoring because it's the only way that you can really visualize the problem. All these other things are just markers, and oftentimes they have no correlation with what's actually going on. Yeah, but with calcium score, you can actually see it. And what you find sometimes on people on low-carb diets is their calcium scores get worse. And you know that they're getting more healthy, and you wonder why. And I've seen this. And, and what happens in calcium scoring, which, which is a great, uh, a great diagnostic tool, but uh, what happens in calcium scoring is the density is measured in these units called house fields. But anyway, it's measured and a lot more emphasis put on the density than on the volume because the volume of the plaque is also calculated. And what happens is the bigger the plaque volume, it's general the more unstable the plaque is, whereas the smaller the plaque volume, the more stable it is. So you can actually, there's a system you can, anybody in here had a calcium score? that you've had looked at, I mean, you've got the, the document for it. If you go in and take the volume, it'll say on there whether it's a 2.5 millimeter slice or a three millimeter slice. Divide the volume by the millimeter sliced and then divide your score by that. And if your score is one, you really have zero risk even though you've got a calcium score, okay? And it'll be anywhere from one to four. And if it's four, you've got a lot of risk. If it's one, you've got essentially zero risk even if you've got a high calcium score. So anyway, that was... Yeah, Mike, Ivor, and I have spent much time talking about this. And if you noted, um, Ivor mentioned David Bobbitt's calcium score. So his, um, his density went up, but his volume went down. And so I think his volume of as areas, you know, it's, it's a 3D image. Jeff Pedley, who's an engineer, actually takes his uh, raw calcium data and he cal calculates his score. It works with satellite pictures. It's the same kind of thing. And so the volume score is looking at new areas, okay, where the density looks at existing areas and how much calcium is in there. And there's some argument that um, an increasing density is stabilizing whereas uh, increasing volume means that there's uh, more plaque burden. Mike's agreeing. 